Clothes are very important for people. Clothes keep us warm and safe from the weather. When we choose what to wear, we tell the world a little about who we are. Today, we will learn simple clothes names in English. We will also talk about why clothes are important in our life. In this video, we use Easy English at the A1 level. If you want, you can turn on subtitles in your language in the YouTube settings. Let's learn about clothes and how they help us show our style. We wear different clothes when the weather changes and for special times. When it is hot, we like t-shirts and shorts. T-shirts can be many colors and sometimes have pictures or slogans. Shorts are good when it is hot outside. When it is a little cold, we wear shirts and pants. Shirts can have long sleeves or short sleeves. Long sleeves are good for cooler days. Pants cover your legs and keep them warm. Jeans are popular because they are strong and can last a long time. Jeans were first made for miners in the 1800s. Miners needed strong pants that did not tear easily. Now everyone wears jeans! Some women often wear skirts or dresses. Dresses cover you from your neck to your knees or lower. They can be light for summer or warm for colder months. Skirts can be short or long. In some cultures, skirts are very important. For example, in Scotland, men wear a skirt called a kilt. It is their national dress. Scottish men wear kilts on important days, like weddings or celebrations. Kilts are very old and show Scottish history. When it is very cold, we wear sweaters. Sweaters are usually very soft. They can have many designs. We also wear a coat or a jacket outside. A coat is usually longer to keep more of you warm. A jacket is great for not so cold weather. For very special times, people wear suits. A suit looks very smart. It has a jacket and pants or a skirt that are the same color and material. We also wear socks on our feet inside our shoes. Socks can be fun with many colors and patterns. Shoes protect our feet from the ground. Boots keep your feet warm and dry. Sneakers are soft and good for sports or walking a lot. We wear hats or caps on our head. Caps often have a visor to protect our eyes from the sun. A scarf wraps around your neck for warmth or to add color to your clothes. Gloves keep your hands warm when it is freezing. A belt goes around your waist and it can be a stylish addition to your clothes as well as keeping your pants up. Clothes are not just for keeping us warm or cool. Everyone has their favorite clothes. Maybe it's a t-shirt, a dress, or a pair of shoes. Some clothes remind us of special times. Maybe it's a hat from a great vacation or a shirt from a fun event. These clothes bring back happy memories every time we see them or wear them. Clothes help us show who we are. With clothes, we can tell the world about our style, our favorite colors, and even what we believe in. Wearing our favorite clothes makes us feel good. We love clothes that make us feel comfortable. Soft sweaters, cozy shoes, and clothes that fit just right make us feel at home in our skin. Clothes let us try new looks and roles. With different clothes, we can feel like adventurers, artists, or heroes. It's fun to see how we change with what we wear. It is very interesting to learn about national clothes from different countries. They are very different. Clothes tell us a lot about people's culture in different parts of the world. For example, in many Western countries, white clothes are for happy times. It is often chosen for wedding dresses. But in many Asian countries like China, Korea, and India, white color is traditionally seen as a color for funerals. At the same time, in Western culture, black clothes are often for sad times. But in some places in Africa, black means you're grown up and wise. In Western countries, wearing a hat inside can be seen as rude. But in some Asian countries, hats and other headwear can be worn inside as part of traditional dress or as a sign of respect. In many Asian countries, it is usual to take off shoes before entering a house. This is seen as a sign of respect for the home and its owners. While in most Western cultures, shoes often stay on inside the house. So that's all for today. Our journey through clothes is ending. Thank you for joining me in this listening practice lesson. Subscribe to the channel to work on English together. In our videos, we use different speakers for voiceovers. This will help you understand different people more easily. Thank you for watching. Have a good day and take care of yourself.